More than any other automobile in history, American muscle cars of the 60s fascinate car lovers everywhere. Brawny and bold, aggressively styled with a powerful beat of eight cylinders, thumping to the cadence of a racing heart. Yet, the most famous of them all was a British-made, all-aluminum-bodied sports roadster with a thundering American V8 power plant under the broad, racy hood. No more than a thousand of these cars were produced in the 60s, but so powerful was the memory of this world-record-breaking Marauder that a whole industry evolved to replicate this most recognizable profile in race car history. More than just an historic artifact, the Mark III embodies the spirit of exuberance, of power and guts, of the innovative inventiveness for which Americans are famous. This automobile is revered wherever fine cars are appreciated, especially here in faraway South Africa, where some of the most popular brands of luxury automobiles are manufactured for world markets. South Africa is a modern, well-developed industrial powerhouse, a fascinating kaleidoscope of contrasts, breathtaking landscapes, unspoiled sea vistas, and modern cities. A vibrant and progressive economy. This is the birthplace of Superformance, a modern, state-of-the-art, 270,000 square foot automotive production facility in Port Elizabeth. Here, high-tech automotive's more than 600 dedicated craftsmen and production employees build component vehicles and race cars in steel, aluminum, and composite materials under the watchful eye of Jim Price, owner and driving force behind this state-of-the-art facility. Hi-Tech is home to the legendary Superformance Mark III, the nimble S1 Roadster, the exciting noble M12 GTO, a sleek 200 mile per hour plus Superformance Coupe, and all the SAS cars raced in South Africa. Under development are Superformance's long-awaited replica of the world-beating GT40 and a steel-bodied street rod to be contractually produced for an American customer. In less than 10 years, this plant has grown from a modest 3,000 square foot shed to the world's largest privately owned specialized auto manufacturing plant. Here in the computer-aided design department, Replicas are developed incorporating modern, under-the-skin engineering technology that any modern automobile producer would be proud to call his own. With his no-compromise approach to design and development, Jim incorporates the expertise of world-renowned designers and engineers like Rausch Technologies, Wes Schultz of ACT, Bob Oldoff, and Peter Brock with the enthusiasm of his own engineering teams to create products that proudly bear the renowned red and white double diamond Superformance logo. Although finished to show quality standards, these cars are not trailer queens. They're designed to be driven, sure-footed and super fast, equally at home, on road and track. Many sports car replicas claim to be race-bred and race-proven. Only one brand has so far proved it. Superformance. Class winners in the torturous one lap of America three years in a row. Overall wins in the Race Mark Challenge at Amelia Island in Florida. Ongoing dominance of the annual Run and Gun Triathlon in Missouri. Automobiles like these are crafted, not built. When they leave the plant, they are complete, except for engine and transmission. Every component is brand new. Nearly 2,000 Superformance Mark III's grace the roads of America. New testimony to the quality and popularity of these respected machines. In the fabrication area, a variety of chassis start to take shape on chassis jigs. Ladder back frames and space frame chassis are but two of the manufacturing techniques that form the backbone of Superformance component vehicles. And modern welding technology ensures that the chassis conform to tight tolerances computer-aided design techniques demand. The Mark III and Coupe have heavy-duty parallel ladder frames with gusset plates, front and rear crumple zones, large diameter outriggers, and steel scuttle frames. The front suspension is built up around unequal length tubular A-arms with custom-designed Bilstein coilovers. The rear suspension is also fully independent with in-house crafted hub carriers and coilovers. In the composite shop, 
one of the largest in the southern hemisphere. The Mark III, Coupe, and noble bodies and panels are hand laid in a vinyl ester composite, then heat cured before being moved to the body preparation area. Here, the bodies and other panels are hand locked to perfection. Hoods, trunk lids, and doors are matched and fitted to the bodies to ensure that closing lines meet tight tolerances before the body and its panels are moved to the paint preparation shop for priming. From here, it's a short step to the paint shop where components receive base, color, and clear coats in one of four clinically clean, ultra-modern spray brew curing oven combinations. Meanwhile, other components take shape in various departments in the plant. What cannot be sourced from original suppliers are handmade in the factory. Where available, original components are sourced from existing suppliers. To ensure that components and processes in the plant conform to exact quality standards, the Quality Control Department is in the process of installing the International Quality Standard TS16949, which is specifically designed for the automotive industry. Not a speck of dirt mars the shining floor of the machine shop, where banks of computer numeric controlled lathes and milling machines shave microns of metal at a time to create hubs, spindles, axles, and other components required to complete the complex skeleton of the vehicles before they are clad in mere smooth composites. This windscreen frame is fabricated from custom drawn brass extrusions, hand bent, finished and polished before they are sent out to be chromed. The dashboard has the authentic 60s layout. The instruments replicate the gauges of the same period. Even the gas filler cap is made to the exact specifications of the quick fill flip top that graced the race winning cars in their heyday. The seats of all Superformance products are produced in the trim shop, upholstered in a variety of material to suit the particular product and trimmed in German automotive quality leather, as well as the best materials for soft tops and tonneau covers. The bodies of the Mark III and Coupe are mounted to the chassis and isolated from the inner panels using flexible urethane adhesive to prevent print through and eliminate flex and stress cracking. In the assembly hall, the finishing touches are applied to the stunning aerodynamic shape of the Superformance Coupe. Capable of more than 200 miles per hour, this Peter Brock design body is more aesthetically pleasing, more form-provoking, and more function-oriented than Peter's original early 60s design. Built on contract for Noble Automotive of the UK, the Noble M12 has been hailed as one of the best sport coupes to reach the European market in decades. Blindingly quick, cat-like sure-footedness and predictable handling make the Noble a worthy competitor in the European sports car market. In this huge tool room and press shop, all press tooling are designed and manufactured for sheet metal components, such as body parts for the replica 1932 Roadster that will be produced for an American customer at the rate of 150 per year. Product development is a never-ending dynamic process in the design department at the factory, with the objective of predicting future demands and being ready to meet them with the most modern renditions of the most desirable products. Some of the new products that will be produced in this facility may replicate some of the most desirable automobiles of yesteryear. But every new product will benefit from the advantages of space age technology. Superformance products will continue to be head and shoulders above their competitors. Fully optioned, stylish and graceful. Engineered with the emphasis on outstanding quality, performance, great handling, drivability and reliability. Stunning sports cars. Engineered to be driven. These are the legends from Superformance.